What's up, everybody? How you doing today? Uh, we are going to unlock the new, it's the weekly challenge. This is the new conversion kit. Let me unplug my controller here. Just charging it up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And we're going to see how it is. I heard in multiplayer that it's quite good. You move like super fast. We're going to have a look at what it is right now so you know what we're doing. Uh, weekly challenge is the Jack Cutthroat Stock. And these are the various challenges that we need to do. And I think it goes on SMGs. Because uh, pretty much every challenge here is an SMG. I think there's one pistol challenge or something like that. So uh, we have to get five rapid kills 20 times with a recommended SMG. We're going to be using the FGX Hor Horux for this. Um, because it is recommended and it's the newest SMG. Getting the battle pass for this current season right now if you want to get it. Uh, so you have to do five of these seven in order to unlock this. So again, five rapid kills 20 times with, I mean, that's going to be super easy. That's going to happen anyway. Uh, 50 melee. I just saw the melee part of that. So that's good to know. Melee mercenary kills with a recommended weapon. We're probably not going to do that part because that sounds like it's just going to be annoying and boring to do. Uh, 10 mangler kills with a recommended weapon. Uh, we're going to use the recommended SMG. And we'll probably be doing some escort contract here for that because you usually get manglers. 50 hellhound kills with a recommended weapon. Same deal. Escorts, great for that as well. You get a lot of hellhounds. 150 criticals with a recommended pistol. I have the Renetti jet conversion kit loaded up. Um, just so it was kind of OP in multiplayer for a minute and then they nerfed it. But I put it on because it's literally a second SMG when you have it, that, that jet conversion kit on it. So we're just going to roll with that because <clears throat> why not, to be honest. And, excuse me. Uh, la, 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 fire damage kills with a recommended SMG. We're just going to put uh, napalm on our SMG, which I already have in my st uh, in my backpack, just loaded up, ready to go. And 100 kills in a single deployment five times with a recommended weapon. So that's easy enough to do. I mean, when don't you get 100 kills? But you got to do it five times, so you got to play at least five games. So if you're going the full length of the game, 45 minutes, like. You know, it's going to take you nearly five hours to do this because load-in times and loading screens, getting out of it, re you know, getting your stuff together. Call it four and a half hours if you want. So that would just actually take a while. So it's kind of one of those things you'll get done over the course of the week. But we're trying to do this right now to unlock this today during this stream. So, again, you only need five of these seven unlocked. So we'll probably skip the whole melee mercenaries altogether. The 100 kills in a single deployment five times will probably just happen over the course of the week. It definitely will happen over the course of the week. We're not going to probably get that done, though, uh, right now. But the other stuff we can definitely do probably fairly quickly as well. So, uh, quick look at what I have here. Um, again, the FJX Horus, Horex. You can look at the attachments I have on it. Uh, I really dig this camo, by the way. Uh, the Ruse 90 Light. Uh, here we are. Uh, barrel. Schlager Ulo 66 Laser. Ripper light stock, 48 round magazine, hex 40 grip. Okay, that's that. And again, for the Renetti pistol, because again, one of the challenges is to get pistol kills, uh, uh, critical kills with pistol. Yeah, 150, 100, that's a lot. Um, Schlager Tango, 50 round drum. That's the jack conversion kit that basically makes this an SMG. Uh, we have a one milliwatt megawatt pistol laser and the Ravage 8 stock. So let's just go ahead and load into the game and we're gonna start getting this stuff done. Wait a second. No, 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 no. What, what happened to my gun? <laughs> did, I, did I accidentally unequip it? I thought, okay. So we'll have the Renetti, whatever, in our primary, it doesn't matter. Um, I just need to make sure, by the way, when we're doing this, I put the fire on the, the napalm, on the submachine gun, not the pistol. <coughs> Excuse me. Dude, I think I me might need to go to the doctor because I had this cold a month ago and it kind of wiped me out and, but then it was fine. Like it was, made me tired a lot mostly. And I still have like 
fluid, like a little bit, so fluid in my lungs. Like it's maybe like I had a slight case of pneumonia or something. I don't know. But it's not going away. It's been, like I said, like a month. So I might go ahead and have to go do that. <laughs> like maybe this week. Because it's kind of nuts. Um, the daily challenges was complete three contracts. And then I didn't see the second one. I think the second one was pretty, like, kill three mimics or something like that. So we should bang those out too. And then there was the one with the marksman rifle. We're not messing with that right now. By the way, if you weren't here for yesterday's stream, um, we were using the SOA Subverter, the battle rifle. Probably, at least in my mind, I think it's the best gun in the game right now. In zombies. Uh, I don't know about multiplayer or Warzone. I know nothing about that stuff, really. Uh, for zombies, though, pretty sure that's the best gun right now to use. <clears throat> And we were talking about the various best guns because I think that the uh, Stingers and the Swarm probably like the top three right now. Why does it sound like that? That sounded really weird. Okay, let's see if that changes a bit here because that was very strange the way that sounded. Um, we're gonna put this on here. I'm getting like a double effect. Why am I getting a doubling effect? Does this sound like that for you guys? That's really weird. I don't know why that sounds like that. Um, let me know if everything's okay on your you guys' end for the uh, sound and everything. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's like that. That kind of freaks me. Every time something like that happens, it just kind of like, what's the problem? And I don't know why it would be now and all of it. Oh, you know something? I know why. Okay, never mind. That's my bad. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Should be fine now. Should be fine. And I know exactly why. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I had my... Was, the sound was coming from the Elgato. And from... The Streamlabs, the, the streaming software. So, that's fine. That's all good. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get this escort contract. Somebody else is running in that direction. They're probably going to go for the... The... Um, well, they're not here at all, actually. But they were probably going to go for the... Bounty contract instead, anyway. So, we're fine. All right. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the the games last night. There's a game on right now. I have it uh, pulled up on ESPN.com over here on my left-hand side. So I can kind of keep everybody up to date. It's uh, Miami and Philadelphia. Uh, what the score is. Like, I don't have it live. Like, I have, like, the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the game cast. So it's just, like, the basically, like, the text thing. And this is what's happening, this is what's happening. You're not, I'm not actually watching the game. But if you want an update on the score, let me know. When I started the stream, it was like, basically like almost, oh, nearly even. About 25-25, something like that, in the first quarter still. There's a Hellhound, another Hellhound. So like, oh, these Hellhounds, these contracts, man, this, the, uh, the escort contracts are going to be our best friend for these few challenges, for sure. And here's a mangler already. This FJX is pretty good. We tried it out, you know, when it was uh, when it, we first it first came out on the battle pass, and you know, we unlocked when we unlocked it, and it was good. It's just it's kind of one of those things like you expect it to be amazing uh, if it's a battle pass gun because they usually make the battle pass weapons amazing because they want you to buy the battle pass 
uh, like, you know, the Moors all of a sudden. Well, it was brand new gun for this game. But they made that ridiculous. Although they just nerfed it for multiplayer in Warzone, apparently. I uh, kind of want to try it out again on Zombies here. Because it was, it's a very good, I think, um, if you watch that stream when we were talking about it, I think it's a very good secondary weapon to have. Uh, great for crowd control, like handling the zombies, but not great for HVTs and just even really, uh, well, the mini bosses in and of themselves, it's pretty good for because they don't have that buffed health that they put on the HVTs now. So it's actually not bad. Uh, for the regular mini bosses, but it's not awesome either. Uh, but it, it is good for crowd control. It's just a, an explosive weapon that just, you know, you're taking things out in a pretty good size radius, so. It's good as far as that goes. We have room to carry that. Again, we're gonna. If we can get the dog, we're gonna get the dog. Because it's just nice to have a little bit of company. Somebody got our back, you know? And if something stupid happens where we go down for no good reason. No good reason. I have four pieces. Not that we need all four pieces, but... Be good to our dog, man. You gotta feed it. Take that money. Oh, that, that's that thing. I forgot about this with your kind of aim down sight. And you come out of it, and you're kind of like... It just... The gun holds there. You feel like you're just kind of stuck in, in that position for a minute. It's just weird. I do not like it. I need to find where a doghouse can spawn close to here as well. We'll check, see if we actually have one. That's the only bad thing about the dogs. Is like, well, are you near one? Like, did it spawn in near you? Or Cause you don't want to have to go looking for it because it's. I mean, if it, if you're going into tier three and the, the dark ether, like, it's good to have. If you were around yesterday for the dark ether, like, you know, the first contract that we did when we were in there. Is the HVT contract, and it basically makes the Mega Bomb like almost solely focus on the dog, which is good in a way because it keeps him off of you. But it's bad in the same sense that, like, that was it for our dog. The dog was got cooked. You know, we didn't have him for the Outlast contract for for the um, Ether Rockets. Although you don't really need him for the Ether Rockets one, um, but the Outlast contract is. I mean, it's pretty gnarly in there. If we had. If we had brought in mags of holding, we would have been much better off, and quite honestly, I flat out just forgot to put on mags of holding. Okay, so we already did that one challenge, so that's... Okay, we already did two challenges. That's why escort contracts are great, man. You get so many kills, and the whole thing is like, so we got five rapid kills 20 times done already. And then we got the uh, 200 kills with fire damage already done as well. So we're moving along. We're probably... Was that our fifth mangler already as well? Like we might be... We're moving through this. We're going to get through this pretty quick. Which is good because we really want to try out... Um, I really want to try out this new stock and see just how good it is, how fast it is. Because as I was saying to you guys yesterday, and I always say it, um, I like in zombies. I want to be able to move as fast as possible. I want my hip fire to be great because I just want to be able to shoot and move without aiming down sight. You know, at least as little as possible, and just keep on the move. And with this stock, I th you know from what I'm hearing, you're moving super fast. Kind of like back in the day, like Bo3, like putting a stock on an SMG in multiplayer. Remember how fast that was? Uh, Valdo, what's up, man? So what's uh this? Cutthroat Jack conversion kit. I'm hearing. Uh, it's just the, what I was just talking about there. The stock on. Uh, I think you you put it on SMGs. Um, and I think it's SMGs because pretty much all the challenges for this week are SMG related, except for one pistol and one melee challenge. So that's why I'm thinking it's um, this pistol. So there there can be a doghouse that spawns over here. So let's go check to see if we actually got that. <laughs> One, just to get him in with us. And two, that way I can free up the space in my backpack. So I can actually put some things in it. Uh, but it's not... Is that the spot? I don't remember exactly where the spot is. I think that was it. Though. Oh, you know what? But we're gonna... We got another escort, so we're gonna do that. 
we need the kills more than we need the space in our backpack. And then maybe, I think there's, um, I think maybe one spot over here, like during this contract that, uh, a doghouse can be as well. So we'll just keep our eye open for that. And then we need, what did I say? It's like 150 criticals with pistols. And this might look like an SMG, but that's the point. It's the Renetti pistol with the conversion kit on it that basically does make it an SMG, so. That's why I chose this one. Um, so we need 10 Manglers, so hopefully we get a little bit lucky and the 50 Hellhounds, so. Um, if we just do a couple more escort contracts, we could probably bang out both of those. And that's two more contracts. That's four out of the five we would actually need. And then we can solely focus on the pistol. Uh, going forward. So we should be able to get this done pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Although it just depends on how many... Oh, we got one there. Speaking of, how many mangoes they actually give us on these escorts because they don't always give you a lot. Sometimes they only give you one. Sometimes they give you five. Uh, what grenade level is guaranteed? Be great to get flesh. Oh, for the, for the dog flesh. Uh, all you really need to do one, you can get headshots, which makes basically the zombies explode when you kill them regardless of what uh, weapon you have or what is on it. Um, other than that, you're really just trying to get them to explode. So, I mean, you can use Semta, you can anything that explodes, really. Don't burn them though. You don't want uh, brain rot or anything like that. And just shoot them in the head and, or, you know, again, you can throw down Semtex, you can throw down grenades, whatever. But if you're kind of just going through it, Aiming for headshots, or, you know, if you have, uh, I think Shatter Blast might actually do it, too, for an ammo mod. But just get some headshots, really, is the best thing to do. We picked up four pieces on, um, the first contract we just did. And there were more on the ground, too, so... Maybe, actually, and I do have Napalm on this, so maybe the fire does work. I thought... Uh, I don't remember exactly. Like, you don't want to chuck... I don't think you want to throw a Molotov at them because I think that will just burn them. It doesn't blow them up. But headshots do it. So let's kind of aim high here with our pistol. And see if we can bang this out, too. I think I was going to make a video on this, and I had been hearing so many good things about the Renetti, we know with the conversion kit, and there we go again. Um, but just in zombies, it's just not that good. Like, it's... The whole thing about it is, you know, it basically turns into an SMG, but just use an SMG. It's not better than other SMGs, you know what I mean? I need to use an SMG for the Hellhound kill, so let me just keep that on. I don't want to go back and forth as another piece of meat there. I don't want to go back and forth too much switching. Did I hear? There he is. I think it's like eight or nine manglers already. I didn't notice a... Um, a doghouse, but I wasn't, honestly, I really wasn't fully paying attention to that. I gotta be honest, on the way down here. <coughs> what, what, where, where are those? Why are they all going up there? the hell's going on up here? <laughs> what? <clears throat> I didn't see another player. 
What the hell was going on up here that all the zombies were running over this way? That was weird, right? <laughs> okay. Regardless. Uh, la 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 I don't really... Well... If it's a mangler, it's worth doing. <coughs> okay. Those headshots. Okay. I love it when the laser actually works in Call of Duty. It's like, hey, that's where the bullets are actually going. It's great. I beg your pardon? Okay, we did get a mangler. Okay, so let's swap back up. Well, no, we don't have to yell. Let's not be paranoid about it. Let's just... Stay aware of what we're doing. That'd be better. But we have to switch over to the SMG for... Well, we don't have to. You know what I mean. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Just hanging out there? Something was weird going on with these zombies, man. Like, what were they... Kind of weird. They're just... I don't know. It's like they're going after something that isn't there and, like... <clears throat> At the end of that last contract, like, where the hell were they all running to up on that ridge? Like, there was nothing up there. It was very strange. Something's going on. Something weird. And goodbye. Uh, you know something? Do I have? I do know. Uh, which... Oh, the three contracts. That might have been the Manglers as well. I, I'm not sure if we... I'm, I'm not sure. That's that's close, though. Like, we, at most, I think we probably have one more. I don't have room for this. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's go... Let's see if we... If we can find one more escort contract, we'll be golden. We'll go do that. Uh, just because it's the closest thing that's kind of like what we're looking for um and it could be a mangler and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure we got that notification there saying we got all three now i i said i said to track these challenges so but it's not sure i don't know oh let's go do this this is usually no no i don't know when you get the, the HVT that's over here, it's the Mimic in the, the building next to the gas station. But I think this one is normally a Mangler that you get to kill. Took my money from the cash register. Nothing good. We did get another Mangler, so that's good. Oh, one of the things for the daily challenges was three manglers. I mean, mimics, so <clears throat> we actually kind of would like to get a mimic or two. But again, we got plenty of time. I do want to find a doghouse. There's a doghouse that can spawn right here, too, right? It's like in this parking lot. I mean, it doesn't appear that it's there, obviously, so. And I think there's... We detected the energy signature one over here. Anomaly. Check it out. Somewhere I near here. Team, I, will meet you there. I just, I, again, I really just kind of want to get two more of those. I want to open up the space in my backpack. <clears throat> Dude, I, 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 I've got to go to the doctor, I think. I should, you know what I should have open is that, uh, you know, uh, visual confirmation. 
map that I showed you guys the other day. And I could look at, hey, where exactly? Oh, the doghouse spawns over here. Oh, what was that? See, I didn't see that one. So th uh, that must have been the Mangler one, right? Must have been. I don't think I should have put Shadow Blast on here. It's too late now. Let's aim for the head with these. We could do a raid weapon stash, although, man, you really don't get a lot of, um... You don't get a lot of zombies with that anymore. Uh, whatever, we'll go do it. We really don't need to do any cargo contracts. We don't just don't need the gun. Do I ever go to tier three? Uh, yeah, all the time, man. We spent most of our time there yesterday. It's when you're doing challenges, though. It's there's really no point in in going to tier three for this kind of stuff, like. One, you're trying to get as many manglers as possible. Doing escorts is the way to go. You're trying to get as many kills as possible. I mean, tier one is definitely the way. To, escorts again are the, definitely the way to go. But yeah, all the time, pretty much every game that I play, unless I'm doing something very specific like this, uh, where we're just trying to get this thing unlocked, um, then yeah, basically, like I said, every game that we ever play, we're going into tier three. Like yesterday, we were in tier three, we were just checking out a little bit of contracts, doing whatever, and then we did the uh, we did a run into tier four, into the dark ether again because it's just been a while since we've done it. I was just like, screw it, let's go do that because I because ha I haven't done it in a while because there's just no need to kind of go back over there. This is something we were talking about yesterday as well. Is it, it just kind of like I don't know about you guys, but once you have you know when you get all your um, uh, schematics and all that. It kind of like, and I felt like this since the beginning of the game, and then you know they added more, so it's like okay, then there's a little bit of something else to do. But um, tier five is Elder Sigil, yes. So that's just kind of what, what I call it. I don't know if like I guess other people would have different names for it. I so tier three obviously is just tier three in the center of the map. Get 100 kills in single deployment five times. Oh, so we have 500 kills, so that counts. Okay, so it's not. Five separate deployments? That's weird. I think that they actually have that wrong. I mean, like, I'll take credit. The cre you know, if they, they're giving it to me, that's great. I'll take it. But I, I think they kind of coded that one wrong or wrote it wrong. Um, yeah, so for me, I call... Um, you have Tier 3. Then there's the Dark Aether Rift, right? That's the story mission part. There's the right in front of the bathhouse or on the south side um, across from the island uh, in Tier 2, like just the very edge. Those are the Dark Aether Rifts, which I just call Dark Aether Rifts. I don't even... That's kind of just story mission stuff. I don't even know like what you would technically classify that as because if you go into the one in front of the bathhouse, all the zombies you're fighting in there are technically they're Tier 2. I mean, they say it, you know, above their heads. They, they're tier two zombies. Um, so that's just the Dark Aether Rift stuff. Uh, now, when you go in with the regular Sigil, to me, that's tier four. And when you go in with the Elder Sigil, that I would call tier five. Although, the only difference, really, is you do get more zombies in with a tier five, the Elder version. Um, <clears throat> and you get half the time to do it in. But the zombies aren't any stronger. You just get more of them than you do in, like, Tier 4. And Tier 3, I mean, it's not like Tier 3 is less difficult than what I would, again, classify kind of as Tier 4. They're basically the same, I would say. Especially the way Tier 3 is now, these days. Dude, there's nothing. Like, oh. I'm trying to, uh, we might just have to go to a different part of the map. We've kind of been over here. Yeah, you know what? We might just skip that. Let's head down. Escort. That's what I want. It's how to get the most kills the fastest is escort contracts. It, they're just great to do. Uh, but Volatile, you've been around for a little while now, man. You, you've not seen me in Tier 3? <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Well, actually, once we get this, um, probably so 
should be after this game we have this this new jack attachment uh, unlocked. So then when we get that, we're going to put it on probably the FJX Horax because it's... Or... You know what? Actually, we're going to put in a double loadout. We're going to do um, the Horax because it's the new SMG. We're going to try that out. And then we're going to put it on the swarms, like the dual-wield swarms, and see just how fast we can move around dual-wield like with that stock on because I think you can still put a stock attachment on the dual-wield. So if you can move super fast with the swarm dual wield swarms, that would might just bump itself up to the new best uh, weapon in the game. Instead of top three, it would just be like V1. <coughs> no, when you want, I'm sure I'm always in tier two or tier one. Okay. You were here yesterday though, weren't you? Uh, okay, so we need, I don't know how many more headshots we need with this pistol, but we need more, so This will do the trick Oh, there's, uh, I didn't see it though, there's doghouse over here I don't see it on the minimap though. We're having really bad luck with this doghouse. Hmm. Yeah, for a bit. Oh, for yesterday. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll once we get this unlocked, we'll we'll go in there next game for sure. I mean, it's the thing, it's kind of like, uh, really what you're, well, I want to kill him with this, with the dogs. Yeah, like I said, it's just kind of, once you're done getting all the stuff, it's like, alright, well, what, what are we trying to do? It really depends on what you're trying to do. Like, if we're testing, then yeah, you go to tier 3. If you're just kind of running to get, like, again, like, do something like this to get unlocks, there's no point in going over there. Like an escort contract in tier three. Oops, I forgot we didn't put armor on. Is um solo is just kind of a nightmare. And then you're just kind of te doing a little, like I said, doing a little bit of testing. Like what works on this, what works on that. This is you know the um, are the. Is whatever gun you're using, like, can this actually take down a mega bomb, like, decently quick? But I mean, nothing really does anymore. Not HVT wise, at least. Regular mega bombs, like, not that bad, but. If you notice, by the way, I'm not lifting the gun up. The that's the recoil. It just goes straight up. But then it does kind of top out, you know. So like, if you just aim at the chest, you're gonna basically hit their head with this thing, this Renetti, the, with the the conversion kit on it. And hopefully, I forgot we do still want to get three mimic kills as well. It's just a daily challenge. It doesn't really matter. Because that's going to happen eventually anyway throughout playing during the week. Those guys. I, I might have already got the Hellhound killed. I honestly don't know. Okay, so we got the pistol. So we should have... There we go. Okay, so we just unlocked it. Alright, so one game it took us to unlock the new conversion kit. Not even a full game. We still have 16 minutes left, so like... We did it in, you know, we had plenty of time. <laughs> That's the point of recoil. It makes the, the gun go up. Yes, thank you, Mitchell. Very good. Um, so it sounds like, it can sound like a lot of stuff. Although, I, th I still think that last, that one with the, um, I don't even need to do this anymore. Uh, the one with the, you know, 100 kills five times. 
I think that's supposed to be five separate games. We just got 500 total kills. And it counted. So I think that's probably not the way that's supposed to be, but we are not going to complain about it for sure. <coughs> Let's just pop that down because why not? Uh, the best thing happened today, so I killed the Mega Bomb, I dropped a refined crystal. Some guy stole it. I don't know if <laughs> Whoa. I'm reading chat. Great. Here comes the fun part. Ready for transport. Done when I saw you. Make sure nothing gets in the way of that launch. So how did um Oh, when you just killed the regular mega bomb, like he dropped the stuff on the ground. Oh, I was gonna say, like I thought you were doing a, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a contract? I was like, oh, he can't get into your reward rift. But yeah, if you just kill a mega bomb, yeah, like the stuff he drops on the ground. Yeah, it was like that guy we had yesterday that was trying to steal my, um, <clears throat> my bike, my blood burner bike, which again, flat out don't care about the blood burner. But it was just that this guy wanted to steal it from me so bad that I was like. Okay, I'm not going to let you have it. <laughs> like, I'm just going to sit on this thing. You, you can't have it. Uh, so the whole thing with the dog meat in this round was literally pointless because we didn't even run across a dog house. Right up there. I could have just walked there. It would have been the same distance. Okay. So let's exfil, and we're going to put on the new uh, the Jack conversion kit that we got. It's a stock for, I think it's for SMGs. And then, like I said, we're going to put it on this FJX Horix to try it on this because, again, it's just the new SMG, so why not? And then also I want to put it on, and it might, there might be a block if it is for like the swarms when you can't have it for a dual wield uh, weapon, which would suck, but we're going to just have to check that out and see because if it, if you can move super fast, with the dual wield swarms, that will be, again, it could bump the, the swarms back up to like the number one gun in the game rather than just like a top three or top five or whatever. But we'll see in a sec. It's... Sports Center for some reason in my head. Dude, I haven't watched Sports Center in forever. <clears throat> it used to be like my number one watch show. Now I never, never, never watch it. I just kind of got sick of the whole hottest take about everything. Like, it's just like, just be loud. And that's all that matters. Don't have to be right. We're never gonna check you on it. Just be loud. Loud and confident. That's all we want here at ESPN. We are on route. Can someone tell Ow, come on. <clears throat> Spawn a blood burner, don't get on it. Bike impossible to move. <clears throat> Do do one, two, three. Yeah, I think yeah, unless you get on it first, right? Just get it going. But I mean like when is uh, they should have made it so it was like bound to you somehow uh because it's just i mean i think they're really just trying to give us stuff to do like especially what's what's coming up you know season 3.5 with um the beret schematic that you can do i'm hot man it's almost 80 degrees here again today um And the, 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 uh, what do you call it? Dead wire basically on grenades? Like, what? Like, okay, I suppose. You know what we should do? We should put on, um, our Battle Pass XP tokens, because, well, it doesn't matter. Is there anything in the Battle Pass we actually want to unlock that's coming up? 
Like, that's just a... Well, I think we already have that. No, we have that next. Yeah, we got that. So, no. Is the answer. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to have the wolf. Like, we could play as a wolf skin. Like, that would be nice, I guess, but... I know I wouldn't get the $70 valve from this, so I'm not buying the $70 valve. The the melee thing? The $80? Oh, that was from the store, right? Maybe you're talking about something else. Okay, so let's just see. By the way, let's just see what we actually got. Oh, value, value. Oh, we're just shy of 200 containment level. We'll do that. We'll play with him one more game just so we get that. <clears throat> oh, all we have to do is kill one Mimic, and I didn't even get one Mimic. So, anyways, alright, forget all that. We're gonna unequip this. Actually, we're gonna swap this out um, for something else entirely. We're gonna change this to SMGs. And we're gonna go over to the Swarms. We are going to... Oh, so that... Mm. Oh, alright. Well, we're not going to be able to do this. Okay. Okay. That's kind of a bummer. I was I forgot that it was the conversion kit that's made this duel. You can't put on two conversion kits. But doesn't even have available. So it might so is that conversion kit only available for the like one? Um for one weapon? Now we have four, so let's go. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, just to check one on. That looks bad. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're not even going to use it. So it doesn't. It it really doesn't matter. Um. <clears throat> it's not this either. Okay. So let's find out what it that, that is actually for. Uh, how do you... Swear to God, there's a way for me to look at this, right? Is there no way... <laughs> Why can I not... See what this is for. <clears throat> We're only five, so we didn't complete that. We're only five off of that. Uh, do I really have to? Do I have to literally just load up every? Is it for assault rifles? I have a feeling it's for assault rifles. Let's, 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 uh, hold on. Let's swap this out. Um, I don't really like the, that gun. We, I like the SVA. Let's put this on. Okay, at least it's not for that. How the hell do you tell which weapon it's for? The conversion kit. Our, what? That's what it's for. AMR, MCW, MTZ, and M4. Okay. Mm. MCW, did you say? 
Yeah, okay. MCWs, I like. All right, let's put that on. Dude, how many blueprints do we have for that? Holy balls. Jack Raven. Okay. Versatile and modular. This 300 conversion kit with an MCW can be adapted to hit hard in nearly every combat scenario. So the rate of fire goes up, mobility and handling goes up, damage at close range goes up, hip fire and attack stance spread go up, bullet velocity and range go way down, and recoil goes way down. So, range is not the worst thing in the world for this, because again, zombies. We cannot put the 60 round drum on it. See, so only getting to, why would you? So this is, this might be pointless. Uh, you know what? We're going to put the purifier kit on here just to... Again, it's not good against the HVTs and um, mini bosses in general, but it is great still. Again, or it was. It was a couple of weeks ago. It was great against... Um, against regular zombies. So I guess we'll put that on. I don't know... That I care about having an optic on this because the optic is actually this. Uh, the iron side is actually not bad on that. Uh, we'll put that on. Um, is that it? Is that five hundred five? Yeah, it is. I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, okay. As always, put the monkey bomb on. Uh, that's equipped. Uh, we're gonna swap this out. We'll put. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> this is the gun I was talking about yesterday during the stream, uh, and Eric actually put it in the, the comment section. I don't know if he's here. The Core Forty Five, this pistol that I was using. It's actually pretty damn good, man. Uh, I have the phase three grip on that 40 round drum. Uh, XRK IPV2, oh my God, conversion kit. Granular rear, gr rear grip XRK IP brace stock. This, act, this gun is actually pretty hardcore. Now it's like when you pull the trigger once, it, the, you can't just hold it down even when it's pack a punch, it never goes full auto, but when you let go, it shoots another round. So it's like boom, 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 boom. So if you just tap the hell out of it, you can like super rapid fire that thing. Um, so it's good as far as that goes, but uh, yeah. You get that repetitive stress injury to your forearm. Just tap, 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 tap. Binary trigger, yeah, there you go. All right, so I guess we'll put that on. Whatever. Um, do we have... No, we don't. Oh, we don't have any Pack-A-Punch crystals. So we're actually going to have to take a little bit of time here at the beginning. Uh, we can put on armor. <laughs> I literally don't have any, huh? That's. I've. I don't know why I have so many VR 11s again. Like, I think we just got that. From, like, did we get like three of those yesterday? I can get rid of this Elder Sigil too. I just don't care. Ah, this is why the stash size needs to be bigger, dude. Like, I would. I wouldn't mind having that. Like, just to tuck it away for. Like we did yesterday, went to tier four just because we hadn't done it for a little while. So I suppose. Are we really just gonna? I guess we'll just start and we'll bring in some perks. Uh, I wasn't here. You streamed too early. Yeah, I did stream a little bit early yesterday. I, I wanted to watch the... Technically, they're not playoff games because it's the play-in. Like in last night, um, Golden State lost. So they are out. 
of the playoffs, but it's like after the regular season, before the postseason. So to me, it's just kind of, it's, I don't know. I don't even, I'm not sure how I feel about this whole play-in kind of a thing. I don't That's why you play the regular season, right? To set yourself up to be in the playoffs or not. So why do they then do another play-in as well? Like, you don't watch sports, period? You don't watch any sports? You don't watch football? You don't watch baseball? You don't watch anything? Um, And I honestly, I don't watch very much. um... All right, just you and your soap operas during the day, I guess. General Hospital is still good. Trust. Uh, By the way, speaking of, in the third quarter now, it is Miami 59, Philadelphia 53. Oh, Embiid is playing. I thought he was hurt, but I guess not. And I, yeah, I don't really care, i got to be honest, about the NBA really too much during the regular season. It's kind of hard right now with baseball, too, with like 162 games. I used to love baseball when I was young. I mean, I still really like baseball, but I would love to go. I want to go to Fenway, like, all the time. That would be great, but... Do not be um, the dark ether is in unpredictable fall. Now I'm just scrolling through <laughs> various scores and stuff. What are soap operas? That's what you watch during the day. Uh, la 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 la. So what do we have? Okay, we can put this on. We can take that. We can go ahead and watch our stick drift. Crazy stick drift. Pop that on as well. Why not? Uh, we might, we might go ahead and use mags of holding. I'm not sure. Oh, so let's have a look. Okay, so in in zombies, this is basically gonna be useless. <laughs> I mean, if you're the kind of person that really likes to aim down sight when you're shooting zombies, it'll probably be a, it'll be a little bit helpful. Um, if you're not, if you're a hip fire kind of person, this is a useless attachment for zombies. I mean, if you're going to put a stock on, like that whole crazy recoil they were saying, like it sounded like it was going to be a nightmare. I mean, I, I don't really see a downside here as far as that goes. But um, let's go get a vehicle. Yeah, I really thought, I don't know why, like all the challenges you had to do were SMGs pretty much. Like five of the seven were SMG challenges. One pistol challenge and one melee challenge. And then the reward is this this conversion kit that's actually for ARs, which is kind of a weird thing. So, I don't know. Does it really matter at the end of the day? No, probably not. Where is... Oh, Pack-a-Punch is here, so we're actually going to go there first because we have five grand. I can't believe we don't have any Pack-a-Punch crystals available to us at all. Let's go here. I remember we're searching for this. Oh, I don't. Uh, I forgot. Watch, we're going to go in tier three, which I still can't believe you haven't seen it. Um, and Volatile would have left. It would be funny. We are going to, again, we're going to pack a punch, and then uh, we're going to get. The, we got The bad thing is, is now we actually have to earn points to pack a punch so we can get like up to tier three so we're gonna have to do a, like a, a bunch of contracts out here in tier one and tier two just to get uh, ourselves some money and then we'll be ready to go into tier three. Oh, i should have i should have melee the stupid thing is he gonna grab that wait it was a did i run where is it it's closer than running all the way over there. <clears throat> Speaking of sleeping during the day, man, I slept. Like, I woke up this morning at a reasonable time. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to roll over here for half a sec, close my eyes, 
while I'm waking up and then woke up and it was one o'clock. Wow, Mitchell being a little bit bitchy again during a stream. How unusual. I mean, it's kind of just where you live, though, right? All right. Was I complaining? I don't think I was complaining. Okay. Oh, they didn't grab it. Thank you guys for not grabbing this. Oh, I don't need to have golden armor, so we're good. See you later. Nothing in there that we actually want. Okay. Let's roll out here. Roll over the zombies. And we are off. Let's see. Oh, it's way up. No, it's not way up. Okay. Yo. Here comes the rook or the bishop or the horsey guy. I don't know which one he is, but there he is. Don't snipe me. Have you killed the new warlord, the chemical one? Uh, there's the one at the at the military base, which we did that day. Is that the chemical one? Does that count as the chemical one, or is that the one that's coming out with season three and a half? Well, let's just do this because it's close, and let's try to get it before this guy. Snatch it up. What's in here? Okay. Now that we've brought a whole bunch of perks in with us, we're getting perks. Red gas. Oh. <laughs> uh, red gas. What does that? What does that mean? Red gas. Is there a spot on the map with a red gas now? When did, was it was it just added? Was there something brand new that I'm unaware of? Oh, I thought it was good. Let go. We need a bunch of kills with this thing, so it actually should be. I mean, we wanted to check out the conversion kit, of course, but it's kind of nothing. We'll save that for now, I suppose, but we can get rid of those. Uh, his base is covered in red gas. New boss after Ravenoff recovery mission. Uh, you're talking about the season two and a half reloaded stuff, right? Like up here, the in the in the base. I, I if it's something brand new that I'm completely unaware of, and I haven't seen anything come out for it for today, so I don't I don't know. Oh, I should have. Oh, I don't have it anymore. Do I? Does it matter?
there's Legacy, then there was, what's her name, uh, Dokubi, then Keris, Keres, K-E-R-E-S. I think that was the military base one. And that's all that I'm aware of, and there's a new one coming out with Season 3 Reloaded. So I've done the three that are, have been out. I don't know if there's, if, again, if there's a new one that just came out or whatever that I'm unaware of, then I don't know. We'll have to check it out. Get that garage opened up. We don't yeah, hang on this one. Yeah, we did that the day of that it came out. And at the time we did it, it was kind of useless still, but they have made it now so that Every time you kill a warlord, you automatically get a wonder weapon, but uh, you don't really ever know which wonder weapon it's going to be. Like, if it's the Scorcher, great. If it's really anything else, what's... The, I mean, they just keep giving away VR-11s like they're candy. Every time, like, when we went to the Dark Ether yesterday, the Tier 4, uh, we got one from that. I think we got one out of a box in Tier 3 as well. Like... I have three of them in my stash that I, there was a stream of what, a few weeks ago, I just literally brought three of them into the game and I was just giving them away, I was just dropping them for random people to pick up because why not? And again, when you just, you don't have much room in your stash, you want to save it for other things. I mean, I'd much rather have a legendary ether tool than a VR-11. Uh, you know, if this was still season 1.5 or whatever it was, you know, like, Doing that escort mission in the original Dark Ether, like, yeah, that's definitely worth it, but... Or if you're going to be constantly fighting the Red Worm, like, yeah, okay. Um, but once you've done those, it's... I mean, at least for now, it's just kind of like, eh. I'd rather save the room for, I mean, a whole bunch of other stuff, so... Okay, so we can double pap. Where is... Here, what's the... Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll quickly go... <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll quickly go to the next two contracts. We should do... If they're still there, we'll, we'll do the HVT, and then we'll do the um, the cargo contract. And we're having to earn all of our points for uh, Pack-a-Punch this game, because I was just out of crystals, man. They should add in Cerberus and Reiki. Uh, next to the Black Cell sector. Uh, you, next to the Black Cell sector, what? I don't know what you're talking about. You guys are confusing the fuck Marking out of me contract. today. This car's taking some damage. Get the money first. Ooh, fair bit of money. What do we got? Mimic. Oh, this will be our one mimic that we need to do for our daily challenge as well. It's not going to work. I'm just going to try it again, just out of curiosity. Pure curiosity. We're going to purify this thing. Just to see what it does. I mean, it, it probably won't do really anything. But, just in case, you never know. Maybe things have changed again. They might have kind of secret... Uh, un unnerfed, rather than rebuffed, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Ah! No. I mean, it feels like it might even be a little bit more than what it was doing before, but... Nothing to really... take notice of, though. I mean, just shooting it was faster. <laughs> But whatever, at least we got to, to check it out and make sure, right? Oh, hi.
Good fire on this is pretty good. Uh, do we want anything in there? I mean, we could put the Shatter Blast on this. It would be kind of funny, actually. Uh, oh, by the way, just now that you're asking that. Uh, finally getting that daily done. Okay. Swidders, how much did your PC cost? I think it was like two grand at the time when I got it, thinking of getting one. Uh, we were talking about this the other day during the stream. Because um, when I was streaming, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> when I was streaming the um, the custom map, because it, like I kept getting those lag spikes. Well, they're not really lag spikes. It's kind of like the, you know the the PC's not doing a great job of keeping up. Okay, just want to make sure that actually took. Um, and I was, was scrolling through wherever I don't know. I was online, and an ad came up uh, for like you know, uh, pre-built, or you could do custom built PCs, gaming PCs. And, you know, I've got the uh, NVIDIA 1660 Super or whatever is my graphics card in here, which is, I mean, it's it's nothing special, obviously. Can barely handle a, a new custom Zombies map on, you know, BO3. Um, so I was like, I was just, it just so happened to pop up, so I was just curious, and... Uh, went on and I just clicked on this link and followed it like dude these things are all like we're talking um, Nvidia 4080s in these PCs and these you know pre-built gaming PCs less I mean like twelve hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars I mean not all you're talking this a you know wide range and uh, how much RAM they each had and uh, various things that were different about each of them but still we were just talking about it I mean, the amount that those cost in and of themselves when they were new was three times the price of these PCs that they're going for now. So the prices on those things just come down super quick. And it's actually got me thinking, um, I, might, I might be in store for a new PC by the end of the year. Um, a big thing is the amount of RAM that, you know, uh, it has. But the, the the quality that you can get compared to what I just got a few years ago getting this PC, um, like the cost-wise, like, again, it's, it's kind of shocking. And if you're not going to put a ton of stuff on it, like if you want to get a PC because you want to start PC gaming instead of a console, um, you got to consider, too, like a console is going to be 500 bucks. You can get a PC now with uh, that's. It's going to be three times as much money, but it's going to be a lot more powerful. And you can, you know, go online with it. You can use it as a PC, not just a gaming machine. So it has that as well. But then, if you're smart about it, and well, if not even smart about, it, well, partially being smart about, it, but also you need to know, like, you have to have, buy a PC that has room to grow, meaning it, it literally has enough uh, like physical ports in the back. For you to be able to add on to it but if you do if you you know you're you kind of pre-plan and have those things in mind that's awesome that's just sitting there um you know over time you can spend another uh, however much money to buy more ram for your your computer again the, your computer has to have the room for it it literally has to have the slots for it so you got to make sure that that's available but you can get a pretty good, you know, performing PC for relatively cheap. Um, and then over the course of the, the next year or two even, just slowly add on to it the amount of RAM that you're, you have available and whatever else. So um, it really kind of shocked me how cheap these PCs were, man. I got to be honest. Like, I was like, are you? I was actually kind of mad. Because of how much mine cost compared, you know, like what I actually got. Uh, again, it's a 1660 NVIDIA Super. Su NVIDIA 1660 Super, blah, blah, blah. Um, it was just kind of like, wow, the difference. And for now, like now you could spend less than what I spent on mine and get a an NVIDIA 4080. Um, and again, you just keep in mind when you're looking, you can check out, you know, the how many USBs are you using it for streaming. If you're just at home alone gaming, like you don't need as many USB ports in the back as I do. The amount of things I have plugged into it, you know, for 
my setup here for recording, for streaming and all that kind of stuff, the lights, the camera, uh, the microphone, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you just don't need if you're not going to be uh, streaming or, you know, recording or whatever. So, um, you know, keep that in mind also. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, a, it's kind of crazy. So you could get a very nice PC right now for between 12 and 1500 bucks. Uh, like a game, nice gaming PC. I don't know about other stuff. That's that's up to you. Uh, okay, so now we actually have enough to go triple pat, and then we have some good contracts in there for us right now too. Can you stop? Please? Where is? Okay. You know what? We're gonna just fly in. I was gonna take the um, the vehicle, but we're just gonna fly in. And we're gonna go ahead and equip that, and we're gonna equip that. So we can chuck our ether blade, and we will have mags of holding, so we don't need to reload from here on out. We just need to make sure we're running over ammo to refill, or we're going to an ammo pile uh, to refill as, in, as well. Uh, I'm gonna get one just to play horror games like Silent Breath and Fears to Fathom and Retro System. 1K is a good budget for building yourself. 1500 is good custom specs on a pre-build. Uh, I mean, I, I, and by the way, I, I should point out, like, don't take my word for anything PC related because I am not a PC person. I don't know that much about that, the, honestly, PCs. From what I'm looking at, though, like, if you're not hardcore, again, if you're not going like, a dual PC streaming setup and doing whatever, if you're just going to be at home playing um, because that's what you want to do is just play. You don't not want to record. You don't want to stream. You don't want to do et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This stuff will definitely be good enough for you. <clears throat> I'm gonna save a, to get a house first and then buy one because I'm renting at the moment. I mean, I would definitely take the house over the PC. <laughs> that's where that's where my focus would be, 100%. I mean, that's what it seems like you're doing as well, so yes. But I mean, I, you couldn't even compare the two. Uh, just LA, man. Everything's so expensive. I. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't even bother. I've told the story so many times. Not to you guys, but to other people. It's just I'm, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of telling the story myself. But it's. I found out like exactly one day, just like exactly how crazy prices are here in LA. Just went to look at an open house one time. I keep trying to reload. I can't remember. We don't need to. Ooh, you know something? We actually let's go. Before we go, do this contract. Let's go. Legendary Herm, right there. Uh, do, are we gonna have? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's go hit this. Um, this wonder fizz. <clears throat> My goodness, dude. I think I should go to the doctor. Probably a good idea. What do we have? It's a disciple. Dude, a le tier 3 disciple. It's gonna suck. Get off me, dog. Thank you. Oh, this is a recommended weapon. Oh, I thought I was thinking we needed the uh, SMG, but we don't. It's just a recommended weapon. Okay. You just gotta love that ether blade. Okay, we got a fatty over here, so that might be a little bit of an issue that we want to deal with before we start dealing with the disciple. Or we can get the disciple to come down here. Hipfire really is pretty good on this. Well, all right, all right. That's right. Get turned. Okay, I've got two disciples. One of them being the HPT, and you notice we're not doing a ton of damage to him. Let's see if we can just get this guy gone. He, there he goes. That's the difference between a HPT and a regular mini boss, by the way, right there. 
exact same flavor of enemy a lot of different time and amount it takes to kill. Oh, we actually got some good enemies. Why are you going over there? Follow, like, come attack me. Okay, I turned him. That's great. There we go. Okay. And he just disappeared. Like, he just disappeared. Why? I mean, it's not that big a deal, but like that's the kind of thing that happens a fair amount now. With these mega bombs, like I, it doesn't make any sense. I turn my back on it and it just disappeared. For what reason? I have no idea. Like it doesn't really make any sense. Marking contract. <clears throat> but it's kind of crazy when you see when you're going after the HVT disciple versus just a regular mini boss disciple, like. The regular mini boss, we took him out in what? I mean, literally a couple of seconds. Did he turn? I don't know what the dog's doing. Um, and the HVT was, we're just, I mean, going on and on and on and on and on. Tier 3 Disciple HVT needs nerf? It does. I think the, um, they had it in such a good place and they just messed with it. I, I, I don't, I don't un understand why, to be honest with you. Other than, again, they like to, not even if it's too easy, it's just, oh, they're able to do this. Let's just make it real hard. Uh, some of you were here whatever day it was because I, I don't remember anymore but um, we literally couldn't get him to die <laughs> we were just like alright screw it I'm leaving I'm just gonna leave I, w I just could not kill him he wouldn't die I have cataloged these creatures. another them. bargain disciple and like this like we just cleared out this area like they don't even give you a couple of minutes it's just well Here's some more spawners. Here we go. It just would be nice if you could have a minute to, like, you cleared an area, so let it be that that area is clear for a minute. You can look around, you can go through some boxes, you could do whatever, but... Okay, they've just... I don't know why... I don't, like, I don't understand their philosophy, really, for the game. I don't understand why it is that way. But it is what it is. And we're not changing it. Well, who knows? I, I just, I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of very curious as to what we're actually going to get for the rest of this year. There he is. Was he shooting me out of his back? I felt like I was getting hit. Okay. Okay, hey. out of bullets man there's nothing I can do now hopefully the hill kill him can you drop some ammo sir 
Nope. I mean, like, that's not how I think it should be. I know, I'm just whining, I'm complaining all the time. Oh my god. How dare he. But when you don't have enough ammo to literally kill one of these? Like, I don't know. It seems like that might be a little bit of an issue. Hey. Uh, we're not picking that up. the uh the sigil it's just we were just in tier four yesterday there ain't nothing new over there i have the the elder sigils we might go back um at some point to do that kind of stuff i mean we will as we're getting closer <clears throat> to season three reloaded just to kind of check things out you know get uh back into the swing of things but as of now there's really no point Whoa, can't slide down that. <clears throat> you know what? I could have switched over to my flamethrower there. I mean, it would have worked for that last little bit. I didn't even think of that. Is there anything? Is there anything worth checking? Oh, man. Don't you guys remember this whole little uh, pattern that you used to do? You go from this building to... Up here, you grabbed the contract, went over here, and chopped over there. It was fun. See, but now it's like when there's nothing to earn over here, there's no reason, like, to be here. It's kind of a big flaw with this game in general, I think, is like... Well, what are we doing? Like, why be here? <laughs> What's the point? And it just kind of feels like... Alright, we're gonna go do this cargo contract, right? And at the end of it, we're just going to get probably some crap reward. I mean, it's kind of one of those like you just feel like the game is messing with you when you get a green ether tool in tier 3. Certainly possible. It's happened many times to me. But even if it was like, you, oh, there's a schematic in there, but I mean, I have all the schematic. Like, this is a long way into the game now, so like... This is like <clears throat> the thing, if you're going to make a game like this, you need to constantly update it. And I just don't... Oh, we've been over it a million times. I just wish they had done it like they did DMZ. And the funny thing is, is like with DMZ, they really... Like, again, they, they stayed pretty up to date with those missions, man. They added a lot of missions throughout the year for that game. Pretty much every season there was uh, uh, quite a handful of things to do. Um... Gave it tons of replayability, and then after one year, they're like, eh, nah, forget it. And then, then they look at us, and they're like, we can just, like, throw whatever we want at the zombies people. They're still going to buy the game, and then we just don't even have to bother paying attention to them anymore. Yeah, see, like, I mean... I don't know. What's left to do over here? I don't know. I will say I'm a little uh, a little disappointed in this conversion kit. Uh, I really had hoped it was for... Well, it's probably my fault. I had wished, hoped it was for... Um, does he need help, you think? Or am I messing him up? Okay. Um, I was hoping it was for SMGs. Because that actually would have been, could have been, could have been very good for us players, zombies players, in uh, especially these, you know, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5 stuff. Uh, could you imagine like a, a stock kit on the dual swarms where you could just, I mean, zip back and forth, um, you know, strafing side to side and like, that would have been, that would have been great. Uh, we didn't get it though, so whatever. What, dude? Dude, I don't need any of this. Yeah, whatever. Raw theory <laughs> diagram. Get the fuck out of here, kid. What's up, puppy? Who's a good boy? A raw Ethereum diagram. Like, I just started playing yesterday. 
Son of a bitch. I should I should try to get him killed now. <laughs> That's an insult. How dare he? That's kind of funny that we're just talking about diagrams though. I mean like schematics, like what do you need? It's like I don't know if this guy drops me one. It's like the the first thing you get in the game. Oh, you know something? Let's see. I want to check this. Yeah, dude. Even just the... Well. I mean, it's tier two. We're legendary triple tap. That just doesn't do much, man. Oh, it's just such a bummer. Bring back fun, man. Bring back the fun. No munchies. That is, uh, no munchies. Okay, well, you know what? We have a turret. Let's go, let's go right to the center. We've got a turret, a circuit board turret. Let's see if we can go. My driving is horrible. Don't ruin my car right now, please. You sons of bitches. Etherblade is so good. I just love that thing, man. That was one of those things that was um, in the original kind of tier 4, tier 5 stuff. The Dark Ether things were going, you know, to get the, those new schematics at the time. The for you know for the for the ether blade actually and for uh, the golden armor and all that kind of stuff. That's one where the ether blade really kind of was super clutch. Going up the stairwells that were super tight. I'm trying to get in the car and drive. <clears throat> you know to get to the roof for a couple of those. Oh man, ether blade huge for that. And we'll see what the cooldown stuff too now. Like, you know, um, earning points is what it's going to be. is going to reduce your cooldown time, so. I mean, we've already seen pretty much like how much the cooldown timer is going to work. Like, doing a certain amount of contracts. I think the most... I, well, there's nobody here. The most cooldown... And I really haven't been paying a lot of attention to it. But the most cooldown, like, I think I've gotten most cool, you know, time reduced that I've seen for myself is a little over two hours. But, again, I've really not paid attention to it very much at all. Because it's not, it doesn't actually work yet. So, what's the point? When I got those rewards from the restaurant, I always say, we got shit and more shit. <laughs> you ever played Fallout 76? Nah, man, we've talked about this a bunch lately. Uh, I, I've, I've never played Fallout. I am literally half an episode away from finishing the series. Uh, and I've been enjoying it quite a lot. So, uh, I was just really tired last night when I was trying to watch it. And I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I'm falling asleep here, and I don't want to. Uh... Like, I want to know, like, for real, what the ending is. So, don't spoil it. If you do, you're banned for life. But I'm literally like 20 minutes away from <laughs> from uh, completing the series. Do we have a buy? Where's the nearest? No. Back where I was. He came all the way up here to chase me. <clears throat> That's something else with season three that seems to be a little bit different. Like, um, the Mega Bomb man, he'll chase you. He chased me all the way. Remember that? You guys were were any of you here when he chased me all the way to tier one? I'm gonna run out of ammo again. Let's go check all these guys. 
Yeah, I think we just picked up some. Yeah, we're good. Oh, this would be nice. I wonder how the Ether Blade will do with that. With the, an insta kill active. There we go. Not bad. Like, this gun's fine. It's been fine. Since day one, really. Um, the MCW. Nothing amazing about it. It's good. I don't know. What else is there to say about it, really? Are they gonna make a, um... Uh, like, this is a genuine question. What the hell happened there? Are they gonna make a, uh, a Bioshock show, do you think, now? Like, I think Fallout... Like, it's the number one show on Amazon. Has been, I think, basically since it came out, which is only, like, what, a week ago? Um... But it is their number one show. And that show looks very expensive. If you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. It looks like a very expensive show to produce. Just the locations and everything they're doing. Um, I'm sure it's quite expensive, but... If they're going to do a Bioshock show... Cause I, and again, I never played um, Fallout. But if they're gonna do a Bioshock show, I want. There was a Mega Bomb down here. I, why do I keep stopping in the middle of my sentence? And I just did it again. Uh, if there's a Bioshock show, I want to start playing that game uh, because it just looked super cool, and I never, I never played it for whatever reason. I don't know. I just never did. So, if there's gonna be a show for that, I wanna, I want I wanna actually play the game and know kind of what's going on before. There was a mega bomb over here. I thought we would get him with um, our gun, but yeah, I thought the power armor suit uh, were CGI, but they're fucking real. Are they really? No, not when they're walking. That can't, that can't be. That can't be real. I mean, it could be, I guess, but vehicle marked. That sounds. I mean, just think of the locations they were at and, like, the, you know, the sets they would have to build just to make this stuff actually happen and look decent. Like, it's, it's pretty insane. So, yeah, all, I mean, they must have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on that show. So, I'm glad it's working out for them just as far as, well, I mean, Jeff Bezos can afford it, right? But I'm happy that it's working out because I actually like the show, so we're almost guaranteed to get a season two. Because it has done well, so. Strike team has reached target coordinates. What? Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just bang out a couple more. We have three minutes left before the storm rolls in. Let's just bang out a couple more contracts. We'll get our containment level up a little bit higher. Always makes me nervous to push it a little bit further in this game because uh, just giving the game time to crash is what it feels like. And we're finally over 200 with this character as well. And then if we do crash, it goes back to 75, which I'll just murder something. My goodness. Speaking of murder, I could sure murder a burrito right about now. Oh, you know what? We're going to go to a tier 1 expo when we do go because I want to get the kills for this. Uh, <clears throat> I was looking at the actor for Lucy's Instagram and the guy in the suits were walking around like normal. No kidding. Wow. Mark, I was the new PC. Uh, Valda was just asking about PC. So you, actually, Valda, you'll probably want to talk to Mark about that right about now. But congratulations on the new PC. I saw this uh, the comment you left before the stream even started about it. <clears throat> and Volado was just talking about getting a, a PC. Because we were discussing it the other day, and I was just saying I looked online because um, it just popped up in on my feed somewhere, on Twitter or Instagram or, wh or whatever it was, just uh, within the last day or so. And I just checked like to see just out of curiosity. Like, dude, I paid two grand for my computer, you know, at the time, 
Um, and the stuff that you can get now is like, it's not even like twice as good. It's like, it's like five times as good. And it's actually less money than I paid, which, I mean, it just hurts your feelings when that happens, doesn't it? Like, golly, like, just anything tech, man. If it's a tech thing, the prices, they go down fast and they go down steep. I don't know why I grabbed this extra sentry. We're not going to be able to use it. Maybe we'll put it down just for the for the giggles. All right, is there? Yeah. Marking contract. Marking contract. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> jeepers, man. Volatile. Whereabouts are you in the country? By the way. Don't you don't don't get specific. Uh, I'm I like like the most you guys ever get to me is like I live in L.A., which is like well, so do ten million other people. So that's not like uh, giving anything away. I, I'm always very leery about giving any way kind of personal information online to anybody for any reason whatsoever. But just out of curiosity, because you're talking about buying a house as well. And speaking of LA, just the pfft. the home prices out here are so insane, dude. Every piece of Ethereum and Team's weaponry we have down here just started humming. <laughs> Storm must be saying hello. Hey, Unless you want to be melted when you. Okay, I don't even know where the storm is, so let's have a look before we get ourselves caught in the storm. Okay, we're good. Because we're almost surely going to be going south. Etherblade is so good, dude. You just clear a room, like, instantly. It's awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. My old PC was, like, 1500 bucks, and this one, like, right, stuff. It was only 750 ish Really? Uh, are you on Twitter, Mark? Uh, just out of curiosity, if you are, and you want to, you definitely don't have to, whatever. If you have, like, a like a link, like, if you bought, a, like, a, a pre-built one or something like that, or, like, the specs... If you could shoot me that on Twitter, the link for my Twitter is down below. Just really out of curiosity because I, this stuff, looking at this yesterday made me super curious. Like, I might be buying a new PC by the end of the year. Um, and then it gets me thinking, why don't I switch? Because this PC is still good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not super powerful. But if I'm using it just as my streamer and I bought the gaming PC to actually game on, I could switch over to, like, a whole PC setup. But, like, again, if we go back to what we were talking about over these past few days discussing this kind of stuff, um, if I was to rebuy everything on uh, all Call of Duty zombie stuff, it would be, like... I mean, I think the, the minimum we figured out was, like, 1100 bucks or something that it, it would be. Again, this is just... This is going down just for the giggles. And we're going to put this on. You're a dick. My sentry gun not doing much for me here. Alright. Um, we're... Okay, let's go to that one. Oh, wait. Is there one south... Yeah, let's go to this one. It'll give us a little bit more time. We're gonna take the freeway there, because uh, I want to get kills with my gladiator melee weapon. I mean, it's not like you put attachments on it. I just want to like, I borealis for everything. Yeah, I'll send you a link to what I got, uh, and I'll list the customization I added to it. Awesome, man. That's great. Thank you. Dude, because if you got something really sweet for 750 bucks, again, mine was 2000, which I bought, I don't even remember how many years ago now. It's been a few years, at least. 
And I got, like I said, an NVIDIA 1660 Super in there, and it's just... I put all my settings when I'm, you know, uh, gaming custom uh, BO3's maps. I put everything on low, and I still, if you guys were watching the Crazy Play streams I did it over the this past weekend, it's still like, oh, you know, lag. Oh, Jesus, lag. Oh, Jesus. You know, like, yeah, that stuff gets you, legit gets you killed once in a while, so... <clears throat> there go. Okay. I don't know if I was getting stuck on the rock or the tree or barely make it through. And we barely made it through. Take out these sniper a holes before they get any ideas. Okay, switch over to the to the fist of fury, and let's fist all these zombies to death. We're gonna fist them and fist them. Yeah, get fisted. Oh, it hurts so bad. You got fisted so hard, you died. It's a PG stream, by the way. PG, as in get fisted. No, you son of a bitch. Oh, so I'm gonna grab a new. Are you boys all leaving? I hope. Extract helo departing LZ. We're done here. Come on. I think we need like 150 more kills with this thing. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Ooh, 0.3 seconds left. Philadelphia is up 105, 101 over Miami. How could they possibly come back from this in 0.3 seconds? The answer is, oh, God, Miami hit a three, but they lost by one. Wow. Miami is... Are they out, or are they going to the playoff play-in against the next team that's up today that loses uh, later? So the Hawks and Bulls are playing. Yeah, okay. So they're going to um, – they'll play the loser of Hawks, Bulls, and then whoever loses that is out. But almost certainly they'll beat either the Bulls or the Hawks. Uh, uh. Oh, I was like, did he survive that? Like, how? He, he got turned. He didn't survive it. ETA 15 seconds. Stay clear of the LZ as they bring her down. No! Snap! Aha! This guy's killing too many of them, man. Really not making this very fun for me, sir. Well, the good news is we're gonna going up over 200 containment level, <clears throat> and I can switch to my other account. Well, my other not account, my other character, and get her over 200. And then I'll have all three of my characters over 200 containment level, just in case something happens. But if you do crash, 
it seems like you automatically get reset to 75. It doesn't take like a set an amount away from you. It just automatically resets you to 75, which is stupid, but it is what it is. Um, okay, I gotta be honest with you, I thought it would take a little bit more time than it took to actually get through this today, so... Um... Should we just leave it there? I kinda think we should. It's a, it's like a, a good length of time for people like that wanna watch the VODs. Um... Cause it's not daunting, like, oh, it's less than two hours. It's just, like, uh... Like any kind of new stuff that comes out for for MW3 zombies, like I'm I'm doing it immediately. But the problem is, you can do it like immediately. There's not a lot. Oh, we got a legendary ether tool, free legendary ether tool. That's nice. Part of the battle pass. It's kind of a decent charm, but I mean. What is 650 is the new um, max prestige, right? Prestige level, I believe. That's something to go for. But again, we still have, when season three reloaded comes in, we still have that. Then we're going to get all the new, <laughs> not all the new, the one new story mission that we're getting. Um, so we'll do that multiple times, I'm sure. So we'll get to, we'll probably get to 650 just doing that alone plus we still have another month to go in season three and a half once that actually comes out which how long is that now do you guys know how like how far away season three and a half is when did season three start has it been two weeks has it been three weeks so we have a week or two left to go something along those kinds of lines anyway uh so let me one let's just switch back over to her I mean, she's at 177 we could get her over should we do that should we play one more game and get her over 200 we'll just bang out a whole bunch of contracts real quick and then all of my characters will be over 200 containment doesn't seem like the worst idea i'm just trying to think of stuff to do like there's not a lot for us anymore you know on a day-to-day -day basis i don't even need to use i'm not using the legendary tool for this just don't need to um you know what i want to clear we're gonna we're gonna give away a couple of uh vr elements and let's also give that so that leaves me three spots oh wait you know what Hang on, let's do this uh, let's craft that let's unequip that Go in here, let's go. And let's craft the dog. And let's unequip the dog. We'll give away a couple of VR 11s in game. Oh, you know something? We can also, let's unequip that. Oh no. So I already filled up, okay. Oh, okay, let's do this. And then we'll unequip this. And we can give away this uh, Elder Sigil as well. Um, bu 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 I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother making a blood burner. What's the point? Did I not unequip this? There we go. Okay. Okay, and we'll also what we'll do is we'll also get this leveled up. <clears throat> oh, we need a hundred more kills with it. Okay, fair enough. So we'll put this on. We're gonna do uh, some contracts. We're going to. Uh, get this up over. We're going to, I don't know, whatever. And we'll play one more game. We'll get our character up over 200 containment. And then, like I said, all three of my characters will be over 200. So if we do happen to die, like we'll still be good to go. But if the game crashes on us, nothing I can do. We get sent back to 75. Sucks. Yo, I thought it was bullshit about the power armor. But if you look at the trailer premiere, you can see one of the suits next to the cast. Oh, oh you're talking about um, uh, Fallout. And someone is free moving inside. Of I believe you, man. I totally believe you. That's awesome, though, that they actually made that suit a working suit. I mean, you know. 
it's it's huge and it's pretty cool. I'm definitely digging that show. I I, I watched the last, like I said, I have twenty or thirty minutes left to go in, in the first season. I really like it, and I'm I'm sure they're going to make another one. It's almost like <clears throat> they spent so much on it that so long as the first season did okay, it would be worth making a second season just to get you know um, more in the in the bank so they could you know for the amount of people that did watch it so they'll come back or they'll you know they can buy it or rent it through Amazon if they don't have Amazon Prime. Don't think someone like Shaq or Yao Ming could be inside it though. Oh Google, what's up, man? Is it true? IMW three added Cheech and Chunk? Yeah. I mean anything touched by the Zeiser must be destroyed. Do not allow the corruption like, to I look, I don't care any what anybody does with their personal life, I genuinely don't give a shit. So long as you're not affecting other, like hurting anybody else, I, I don't care. It's up to you, right? But if I just curious, like if they were, you know, like, look, weed's legal. It's it's. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But um, if it was, if they were pushing, in the same way that they're pushing the all the you know the the marijuana stuff like i mean we had the the there's the get high challenge going on right now it's like the the map that you just go basically you just keep climbing and climbing and climbing what was that indie uh game that was out like a year ago that everybody was like playing it's basically that that they you know there's call of duty copying everything that's it the high Get high mode, right? Exactly, uh, is what it's called. So uh, I haven't, no, 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 I haven't played it. Um, but like, if they were put, the, so, the, and then there was the sloth challenge thing that we did. Uh, it was like the weekly challenge. That he, it's like all about weed decals and you're high. And the reason why they picked the sloth is because he looks like he's heavy lidded, you know, and like, oh, I'm so high, you know, that kind of a face that he's doing. Um, there are lots of kids that, you know, like, kids that are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know, and you could say, hey, the game's rated mature, they shouldn't be playing it. F completely fair enough. I'm not even saying they shouldn't have this stuff. But think of all the marijuana references in the game, like the, the camos, uh, the Cheech and Chong. Like, part of the whole, like, if you buy the Cheech and Chong bundle is when you get kills, they... Like they turn when you kill them, they turn into a joint, which is kind of funny. But at the same time, it's like you know we're going really hard into the <laughs> into this. So what if it was liquor? Like would everybody still be completely cool with it, or like it was cases of beer or whatever? The whole like well, it's only weed, man. Like okay, and again, fine. I I've, I've smoked plenty of weed in my life. Um, I don't have a problem with it, but it's just when it's a game that kids do play. I'm just curious as to how many people that think, hey, it's just weed, would think the same thing if it was like uh, Jack Daniels or Budweiser or whatever else. I don't know. I bet you it would be different, though. I bet you it wouldn't be looked at as just, oh, it's just kind of funny. I mean, I, I don't know. And again, if you want to buy it, buy it. I flat out don't care. I don't have a problem with weed. Um, you know, adults can make up their own minds. And again, this is a, a game that's rated mature. So you're supposed to be 17, whatever, 18, whatever it is, uh, to buy it. Even though you have to be 21 in order to buy marijuana legally. And I stress legally. Um, it's just that they push it so heavy is a little bit, I don't know, i got to be honest, it's a little bit weird to me. Uh, we can put that on, sure. <clears throat> I'm done buying skins across. Too much for people. Whoa. Just got completely flipped around there. 
uh, with no t story aspect. I mean, well, yeah, I, I, I don't buy skins. You guys know this by now, but... It's not that I wouldn't ever, if there's a good one that I see, like, oh, that looks really cool, I want to get that, then I would get it, but... It's part of the reason why I actually buy the Battle Pass. Well, I mean, there's some stuff in there that, as a kind of Zombies YouTuber, I should have, or at least know about, you know, possess. Um, but, you know, whoops. Can we get through there, please? Like, if you buy the Battle Pass with COD points, and then you can earn back more COD points than you actually spent on, on the Battle Pass. I think it's only like 300 or so points that you can get back more, but still, if you buy it one time, you kind of don't have to buy it again. So, um, that kind of stuff I understand. Uh, but that's a little bit, I mean, we're, it's, that's not, uh, that's not bundles that we're talking about, that's the battle pass, but, you know, the Rick Grimes thing, again, he was available in the battle pass. I would have bought it. I would have been mad ultimately because there's so few lines they give them to say. So I would have been upset about that. But I would, I probably would have bought it. I definitely would have bought it. I'm gonna be honest. That would have been 20 bucks. And the Cheech and Chong was is not 2,400 points. It's 3,000, right? Imagine killing players and they turn into syringes. I mean, the only I will say, and I, I certainly get your point, but like. I mean, heroin's not legal, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or whatever else you would inject, I don't even know. Um, in any sense, at least in this country, it's not legal in any kind of a way. But I just I just do find it a little bit weird how hard they go with all the weed stuff. And they do it because it, they know it'll sell. Um, and it just doesn't have the kind of reputation, like again, if it was Jack Daniels or Smirnoff Vodka or something like that, it would probably be looked at a lot differently, and there would probably be a lot more people upset about it. That's just my guess, but uh, I bet you that would be the case. Uh, because it doesn't have, like, you know, the whole marijuana thing is kind of looked at as, it's just weed, man. It's so easy, simple. There's no, like, arm, no, you know, whatever. Like, okay. But, I don't know. Ultimately, I don't have that big of an issue with it, but it is. I do find it to be at least a little bit peculiar. I'll say that. For a game that is mass marketed to, like... I mean, how many times have we talked about the whole nostalgia thing and people still reminisce about how Nocturne and Toten is the best game, uh, best map ever because, you know, when they were 12, they used to come home from junior high and play with their friends after school and blah, blah, blah. Like... I don't know. Anyway. Uh, the Battle Pass is a solid deal, though. Multiple skins, gun skins, cod points, etc. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's worth it. Because, again, you can earn back your monies. Buying bundles, you can't earn back anything. Um, buying the Battle Pass, you can earn your money back. I mean, you, you're you earning it back solely in cod points, of course. So, like, you can't use it for anything else other than Call of Duty stuff. But, you know, if you're willing to make that initial investment, you can... Please? Oh, I did... I didn't have the animation, but it somehow put my armor back on. Um, anyway, whatever. This thing super locks on, and I really don't like it. It just flipped, like, it just completely flipped you around. Like that. Like, there was no reason for it to turn me around like that. So you're literally just button mashing when you get in there and this thing just punch, 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 punch. But we needed 100 plus kills, so that's what we're going to try to do. Just in case any level two start to come over here or tier two or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> that reminds me, there's a dialogue. Ultimate Stems is saying something like, oh, tank, there's kids playing this game on an adult. Yeah, I mean, and the, 
that's the thing too is they're very well aware of it and it, it might be a um a rated mature game but still at least in, you know and again in america like uh, unless it's different for weed than it is for alcohol but i don't think it is you have to be 21 in order to buy that so they're still not like reaching the minimum requirement age you know what i mean like to to buy the game versus buy weed or buy I mean, there's, again, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do Jack Daniels. They wouldn't do Bushmills, or you know, Jamesons, or anything else. Just the weed kind of stuff. So. Oh, I hate when the mercenaries are here. Oh my God. Okay, okay, we're gonna go down in tier one, please. Please, please. Stupid mercenary shooting me. There you are. None of these zombies went for these mercenaries that are over here. How did that miss you? Oh, I forgot. This isn't Pack-a-Punch. I don't have anything on this gun at all. Not even a green ether tool. There is a Pack-a-Punch here, isn't there? Jeez. Dude, he's mercenaries, man. All right, I'm picking up some armor over here. <clears throat> and I want to kill these guys. Actually, part of our weekly challenge, oh, he's up top there, <clears throat> was to get uh, melee kills on mercenaries. So, is he the only one left? Son of a bitch. That was literally the last one. And he was just shooting the hell out of me. Okay, whatever. Um, dog meat. Did I even check my rift? No, I did not. Okay. Glad we got that. Uh... I just died and zombies went from 175 to 75 containers. Just from dying? I thought from dying you went down like a certain... I don't know if they were doing like a set number or percentage, but I know like, again, when your game crashed, you went back to 75. And it wasn't, uh, it had nothing to do with your current level. You just got sent back to 75, period. So that sucks. Uh, it sucks if that's what happens when you actually die. That's that's crazy. I was playing GTA 5 at 1440p, 130 frames, only using 50% of my GPU usage. Kind of mind blowing. Oh, with the new PC? Uh, they were talking about you having to verify your ID something to play and buy GTA 6. Only because it's going to be more adultery than GTA 5. Um, I mean, we'll see. I, I, I'm so looking forward to GTA 6, I can't even take it. It's kind of like, I hope... Well... There's no way it's going to work out, right? Because, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. GTA 5 is my all-time favorite uh, game. At least story mode, you know, game. I'll get us there. It's just so good. And really smart and really, like... It was just really good. You guys played it, you know. Um, so I'm really looking forward to GTA 6. The only thing I'm actually kind of like, eh, I don't know, is it's in Florida. And, uh, I mean, I get it, you know, the whole Florida Man thing is a big joke, you know, whatever. But 
I kind of don't want it to be in Florida. I wish it was still in LA. Oh, shut up. Uh, I heard about that, like facial recognition or something. Dude, if you need any kind of facial recognition to play a game or do whatever, ever, I'm not playing that. I don't have facial recognition stuff on my phone. I like to unlock my phone. I'm not doing it to play a game. I mean, I was in the military. They have my, you know, my my fingerprints on file. It's not like I'm not hiding from anybody, but I I, I just I I refuse. I can punch in a four-digit code, like to get into my phone. It's fine. Okay, so we need 100 more kills just to get, uh, well, and exfil to get the Golden Enigma. Time to go. I think we're going to double pap the gun rather than the, the melee. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Oops. Oh, we could drop this guy. Hey man, you want a VR 11? Hey man, you want this? Free VR 11, wonder weapon. Does he not have proximity chat on? Here. Did he pick it up? He picked it up, okay. Have a good one. I forgot that we had... Why did I do that? I forgot we had those to give away. Uh, let's go find somebody in tier 1. Somebody's hanging out in tier 1 because they're probably a little bit scared, right, to move. So let's find who's in tier 1. Literally nobody over here. Okay, we're going to go... Going to go all the way over there to go run into this guy and give him a VR-11 and an Elder Sigil. Why not? We'll give them both. Smoke gonna drop. Yep. Nobody came through here yet. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of refuse for that, that kind of stuff. The ID, the face scan, like all that kind of stuff. One time. I don't care if it's one time only or whatever. Like, uh uh. I, it's not happening. Face. They don't need facial fucking recognition scanning for that. Like, no, no, no way. I remember when people thought CJ or some person was the missing person. Like, switch character wheel. Uh, wrestling Gators, yeah. I mean, it'll still... You know what? It's it's going to be great. It's just that Florida, to me, like, when I just think of it, it's like, ah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I'd rather be in L.A., you know what I mean, than, than go to Florida. But whatever. It'll, um, it'll be great. I use the code, too, because half the time, Face ID doesn't even work. Well, that's part of it, too, but I just... Okay, well, he's gone now. Oh, he left. Okay. Literally, literally can't even give the VR-11 away. That's how bad it is. <coughs> okay, so... I just was reminded of something. A spoiler that I know of Season 3 and a half. Or Reloaded, whatever. Do you guys want to know the spoiler? I mentioned it the other day, and I said it at the beginning of the stream and before like anybody had even showed up, so... Nobody really responded to it. This is going to be the same guy. I'm going to trace him down and he's going to move by the time I'm there. I know who the Dark Aether entity is. You know how you, like, at the end of Act 3, um, Dr. Jansen activates the, uh, the Aether Neutralizer device, and then she gets pulled up to the, to the rift, and then it's that uh, a figure appears and says, let us in, and a lot of people, including myself, thinking, oh, that's got to be Sam. Why wouldn't it be Sam? Um, it was spoiled for me, and I didn't have a real choice to know or not, because it was just on Twitter, and they didn't give a spoiler warning. They just put this thing out there of somebody I follow that's a leaker. Um, and so I just saw it, and I didn't get a chance to, like, oh, no, I don't want to know about that. So I'm giving you guys the chance. 
And if you are here, I'm not just gonna, sh you know, shout it out. I will, uh, I'll give you like a, a little notification, a little, you know what? I tell you what, at the very end of the stream, that way nobody can put it in, nobody can put it in, um, Nobody can put it in the chat. So I'll wait till the very end of the stream, which we're almost there anyway, so it's not like this far away. But I know who the dark entity is. So it's the very last thing I'll tell you guys on the stream is who the dark entity is, and then you can decide whether or not you want to know that or um, or not know that. Where did... Oh! Do I have meat? I have a meat, right? I do. Let's go, puppy dog. Oh, here's a dude. Hey, man. You want a VR-11? Dude, you want a VR-11? I don't want your truck. It's fine. All right. Whatever. He's like, no, it's my vehicle. I'm taking it and leaving. Like, all right. I wasn't trying to get it. Let's go. Let's go ask this dude. Did he just exfil? Hey man, you want a VR11? Buddy, you want a VR11? I'll drop it over here for you. Do you not have proximity chat on? Stupid. What this? Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't need to do that. Here, that, you can have that. I didn't mean to open it. That's my bad. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. You can use it for now. That's my bad. I didn't really didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, do, uh, I, do a lot of people turn proximity chat off? I don't know. Because nobody's actually responding. Like, I mean, forget about talking back. It's just like they can't hear me. Uh, man, you know what? No, fuck it. Let's just run. We'll head back there. Cause I just need kills with this thing now. We'll drop an Elder Sigil. Somebody else comes by, they can pick it up, and, uh, whatever. Uh... Oh, Take your rights in the name of protecting you. God, the sloth bundle tracer makes people head turn into a bong. I'm done. Does it turn into a bong? I mean, I know that the Cheech and Chong one makes you turn into a joint. I didn't know about turning into a bong, though. So most of you seem to want to know, but uh, again, it'll be the last thing that, that I say. What's up, Big Nap? Uh, this will be the last thing that I say for the stream. And then again, so if you're watching this as a VOD, I know who the dark entity, uh, the dark entity um, person is. And I will tell you at the very end of the stream, let's grab this. Uh, so if it's getting close to the end of the stream, just like look at, look at that timer down at the bottom and just... We'll exfil and we'll do all that kind of stuff, and then you can tell, like, okay, after he exfils, then just bail. It, I'm kind of, well, I don't know if I'd give something away by saying this, so I'll, I'll wait. Uh, you know, the game is in a bad state when you can't even give away wonder weapons. Yeah, I mean... Well, uh, part of it is, do they even have proximity chat on? I don't know. I mean, I think it's like default on, isn't it? Um, and I think that first guy actually, like, he just wasn't responding, but I think he got it because he went over and picked it up. And I really didn't mean to... To equip that last one, I just—I was trying to just—I forgot. Like I was putting it in my slot, and I was just like gonna, gonna to drop it for him, like in the case, and you can't 
do that. <laughs> so I, I feel bad. But whatever. He wasn't responding anyway. He wouldn't have known. I think I was behind the It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, it's like a big ass bonk for a head. Yeah, I, I didn't see that one. I mean, we did that challenge. That's the, like, I, I think that was last week's, like, special challenge or whatever. Um, was doing that, the, the sloth one, which was actually super easy. Jade? I don't think I've seen Jade the dog before. I wonder how many kills. I wish I knew, man. Something that still bugs me. I just, I, I really wish they would put a kill counter. If you pulled up, you know, like here or whatever, you pull up your map and you can see. Like literally every other zombies game we've ever played. Just so you know, like, okay, I can count from, I had 50, I, I'm going to exfil. I need 150, you know, I need to get to 150 then uh, to get this golden enigma and... So then I can be off. But... Oh well. I prefer Fluffy for obvious reasons. Yeah, we, we get Fluffy a lot. Still haven't seen Natsu. Don't even know if Natsu is in the game. <clears throat> it would be really cool if there was, though. Yeah, so the, the whole thing with the, the Dark Entity... Eth um, why do I keep dark entity ether? Dark ether entity is it? It's basically one of two people, right? It's either <clears throat> Samantha, or like we saw at the no, not the last cutscene, the second to last cutscene that we've had. Uh, so the last one was when she stitches uh, Ava stitches up Ravenoff, um, but the one before that, so at the end of which one? What, what even part was that now? It's not the end of Act 3. Or is it at the end of Act 3? No. That's where we see the rift. So season 2? No, one and a half? That story mission? Anyway. <clears throat> and we see Ava with the purple eyes. Just like we saw with Sam in Cold War. Um, oh, let me drop this guy the, the sigil. So it's basically, it's either Samantha or it's Ava. I mean, that's like the two most likely. But yeah, unfortunately I know who it is for sure. And I didn't want to know, man. I didn't want to know. End of Act 3 is, no, not, not that one, because that's, um, or, no, 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 End of Act 4, End of Act 4. End of Act 3 is when she activates the uh, neutralizer, and that's when you see the rift and you see the entity. I'm talking about where her eyes go purple, that's at the end of the Act 4 story mission. Um, you know, when she in the hallway and everything goes red and then she's surrounded by zombies and then she accidentally slices Ravenov's throat but turns out it was like a daydream or she was sleeping or it was a hallucination or whatever. It wasn't actually... He wasn't actually there. She was, you know, it was in her head. Um, <clears throat> and then her eyes go purple like it did in... Uh, like I said, in... Um, Look at my puppy. Like Sam's did in Cold War. I believe Sam's story would be told in Gulf War instead. Yeah, you just kind of curious. Like they were trying to connect it. You know, they did connect it. Um, this story with that story. So just wondering how far they're going to go. You know what I mean? But I, I, at this point, I mean, like, do you think they're even going to finish what they were planning on for this year? Because I kind of don't. I, I, from what has been showing up, like, what the leakers are finding, like, the people that go through the code and scan everything, like, there was nothing planned for season... Like, there's stuff for season three, there's stuff for season five. Uh, and we already know the stuff for season three. 
Um, the stuff there is no stuff in there for season four, so there might not be anything coming after that. And then it's just going to be season five, and then I think it's normally we get six seasons, but the game is coming out a month early because of um, well, because it's been they had the extra year uh, to do it, and you know um, they were planning on this game not being that highly sold because it was you know one it's a remake of 2009's modern warfare 2 and it's basically supposed to be just dlc for last year's modern warfare 2 so um so yeah it's coming out i mean it's not it's not that they never do october releases they've done a couple of them in the last like five years or so but uh, normally it's november I don't think we even did enough contracts to get over 200. I'm pretty sure we didn't. I forgot that's what we were even going for. <laughs> Just started messing around and like trying to give people VR 11s, the, the wonder weapons that you just can't give away in this game. It's kind of nuts. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, we only gained three points out of that. I mean, I guess that makes sense. We didn't really do any contracts. That's how you get containment. Uh, no haunting event would be awful. Yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing is the the new Call of Duty Gulf War is going to be out before the haunting event would occur, or like right as it would occur. So I think it's like October. You know what? Let me look right now. I'll tell you. By the way, so gameplay. If you're watching this now and you don't want anything spoiled as far as the dark entity goes, dark ether entity goes, um, you can leave the live stream now if you're watching it as vod this is where you click away because i'm, a, I'm a, i will spoil it i'm going to spoil it um and we can talk about it a little bit if you want to after that um but you're a fair warning to go away now basically let me look at go for a release date before so uh, as soon as i find this out i will uh They're aiming for 2024. Come on. I I can't get get an exact date on it. It's I I know it's October, but I don't have an exact date. Wait a second, wait a second. We might have something. Everybody's like, yeah, they're really shooting for 2024. Like, they're not... Sh they, it's coming out this year. They're not shooting for 2024. It's definitely coming out this year. It's just what date in October. I already know it's October. It's just what day in October. I don't remember. Or maybe they haven't announced the actual date. That's why it's not in my head, but... I don't know. It's coming this October. So anyway, it will be a, it will be a near... Um, where a haunting event would normally be which yeah i'm with you big nap like i definitely want a nice haunting event will be fun hopefully uh what could happen which would be kind of awesome is we're gonna get two maps at launch two round based maps at launch and if you digitally pre-order we get like the week or maybe even three weeks early access to one of the maps and then when the game launches, let's just say it's mid-October, October 15th to 18th or something like that. It's around the time where a haunting event would probably start. So you want to have it a little before uh, Halloween and a little bit after, probably like a few days after for it to go. So you want like a, a two or three week kind of a thing, probably not a month, right? I don't remember the exact dates in the past, so if you guys do go go ahead and let me know like normally they do it for one month and three days like you know feel free to tell me um but like something like that so what if they did the the early release of one of the maps if you digitally pre-order and then on that map we get the special haunting event i mean they'll do one in for warzone because they always do as well right but what if we got like the pumpkin heads you know like they did in cold war <clears throat> on um the early release map and the right the other map we you just play regular or put it on both whatever but because normally with when they do that 
you guys remember in Cold War, like if you killed the pumpkin guys, like certain ones would like, and the, you would get special drops. You get like ether tool drops. You get armor drop. Like you get like even pack a punch drops from that kind of stuff. Like it was, it was good stuff that you would get. Um, so you don't want to do it for, oh, I mean, you could, but uh, for my, my way of thinking, you don't want to do it for a map that, like a new map, you don't want to have people getting to figure it out, the Easter egg and getting to the boss fight, do whatever, when they're kind of artificially getting free stuff from these drops. Hopefully MWZ gets a grand send off with a hunting event. Uh, could, but honestly, by then, probably I will be have moved on to Gulf War, so it's not going to matter to me. Unless they do it real early, like if they start October first, maybe then yeah. But I'm I I, I got to be honest. I'm really not expecting much of anything from this game here on out. We know season three reloaded. We're gonna get one more story mission. We already know the schematics that are available. It's the red beret. It's the dead wire on explosives. Um, you know, uh, Semtex and uh, regular frag grenades and that kind of stuff. So. I mean, it doesn't, it's not like a bad thing, but it doesn't sound like... I mean, who the hell was really like, oh, geez, I really want that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, and what was the third... Why do I always forget the third schematic? Oh, it was uh, for your mask. You, it was like a, basically like the golden armor. You can get a golden mask. So it, it, it heals itself over time. So you don't have to, like, when you buy the upgrade, or buy or find or whatever, get the upgraded mask, you could go to the ammo pile and uh, refill its health. This way you won't have to. So if you're fighting a red worm, you could just stay in there and you'll never have to go to the ammo pile for that reason. You're still going to have to go back to get ammo, but... I mean, honestly, it's kind of a useless thing. The whole red beret thing, like, you won't be targeted by mercenaries. Like, okay, I mean... Like when I did that escort contract in tier one, there was like it was a little bit of annoying, kind of an issue, but it wasn't that big a deal. <laughs> so I don't know. I just don't see the point really of that kind of stuff. They're just doing the bare minimum to like, hey, here's some more stuff for real. This will be the third straight season where the new content that we get is, hey, there's a new uh, dark ether rift that opens up. Go through the portal. You, you know, do a couple of the. Um, contracts in there you're gonna get an item and then when you get that item you leave the game and then you gotta find three other items and you get you know there's a, a way to upgrade them and then you go into the dark ether and then you can get these schematics for the third straight season like it's <clears throat> they're putting in the bare minimum amount of effort gold backpack scavenger backpack is next dude i honestly like a gold backpack or something like that it wouldn't be the worst thing if you, if you could hold more items. I'd, I'd take that over a friggin' red beret or a um, a golden gas mask. I mean, you're just not in the ga the gas that much that it's it's necessary. Really, it's it's for the worm. I mean, if you get caught at the end of a game, it's not because like in DMZ or Outbreak or something. <clears throat> I mean, um, Warzone. You can get caught up into a gunfight and you literally, like, you're pinned down. You can't, like, you got to kill the guys or else if you try to move out of cover, they're just waiting for you to do that and they're going to shoot you and whatever. So, yeah. But in zombies, it's really not an issue. And again, when you're doing the worm, um, I mean, it, it would be handy for that, for sure. You don't even have to think about it. Great. That's nice. But you're going to refill your ammo anyway in the same place that refills your gas mask so it's not that big a deal whatever okay so spoiler warning full on like now i'm giving away now who the dark uh ether entity is you have three two one it's ava for sure uh they found in the files that it is ava it's like it's ava and then there's dark ava um so it is her again it was really only two people that it could be uh, when we first saw her at the end of Act 3, that was again when Ava set off the um, ether uh, neutralizer machine thing. And the explosion goes off. Uh, what was his name? Makarov or whatever? Whatever happened to that guy? He was supposed to be the big bad of this game, like this mode. And like, when's the last time we even heard anything from him? Um, 
Anyway, his vial goes gray, like it, it killed the ether stuff nearby, but it didn't like do it for everywhere. It was like a, con a, a close area that it worked in. Um, and then we saw her anyway. So we, the, the rift opens up in the sky. We see her get pulled up and then there's the entity that comes right to it, but is in completely silhouetted in shadow. We can't see her. And it's, um, uh, let us in and it's like, okay. So right after that, it made me think it was Samantha for sure. Like I definitely thought it was Samantha. Then at the end of act four, when you beat that, that story mission, that's the one where she goes into the red hallway and it's the zombies or whatever and, and Ava's looking on her tablet and doing whatever. And then there's a, 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 a part of it when uh, she's talking to Ravenov and she says, he says something very specifically about the entity in the dark ether. And the camera cuts away from, like uh, Ava gets up and walks out. But as she, he's saying the, the dark ether entity, the camera focuses on uh, Samantha's picture on Ava's laptop. So it double makes you think, okay, it has to be Samantha. That's how film editing works. Like that's how, that's what you do. Unless you're just trying to like completely pull the rug out from under somebody when that's what they were doing here. So um, it is Ava, unless there is some kind of Ava is Samantha kind of a thing going on, which I, look, nothing's impossible, right? Um, Especially in the zombies world where we've got multiverses and dark ethers and, you know, it, it, they can kind of do whatever they want. Because it's, it's basically like magic. You get to go, well, how does, how does that happen? How do you have dragons and how do, how, why can't humans see them? Well, because magic and, whoop, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, so they can kind of do whatever they want in this world. And it, so I guess technically they could be one and the same person somehow i don't know but as is right now we know that the dark again if you just tuned in i'm spoiling who the dark entity uh dark ether entity is um so if you want to go away go away don't you don't want to hear this go away now <laughs> uh i just saw the the uh, uh viewer count go up for like for a couple uh, from when I started talking about this. So I'm spoiling who the dark ether entity is that we see at the end of Act 3 um, in the rift in there, whatever. So, um, yeah, in the files it is called, that entity is called Dark Ava. So, again, unless somehow they're one and the same, it's not Sam. Maybe she's Sam's daughter? Possibly. No. No, we know it's Dr. Gray's daughter. Uh, she, it. <laughs> we know that Ava's Dr. Gray's daughter. Who the dad is, that we don't know. This is, again, of course, the speculation that it's, it's actually Ravenov. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, Ava's mom is Dr. Gray. Again, unless they're going to pull some kind of super pull the rug out from under it was in the it's in the audio files that you do when you do the mercenary strongholds um it's in there i was gonna say we should, <laughs> i was gonna say we should try to do that one day just like listen to all the audio logs but you can't guarantee which ones you get so like they can repeat and you're really only gonna get what like three per game anyway that would be annoying and honestly it would be boring so anyways, um, that's who it is, uh, spoiled, not, I mean, you know, like, that's it, the blaze up thing with the sloth, six days left still to go on that, like, so we did our weekly challenge already for this week, we got the, the new, uh, stock for a few of the ARs, I was hoping it would be for SMGs, which would, really would have been nice, as far as for zombies goes, it's, Unless you're the kind of person that really loves to aim down sight in zombies, um, rather than hip fire, which I'm a, like, I love hip firing in zombies. I really don't like to aim as much as possible. Like, just I would shoot from the hip. But if that's your thing, this is a good deal. Other than that, it's really kind of almost useless for zombies. Uh, and this is the one, the challenge that came out today. I thought it initially was going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> We did, we did get it all done in one one game, though. 
which is good. But that's kind of it. And then there's this thing starts in a day at double XP. Oh, so we got double XP coming up in a day. So that's not even. We already did this. This came out a week or so ago. We did that again as soon as it started. And then this is a war zone thing purely, right? So I haven't done this. I won't be doing this. <clears throat> but I began talking about like everything is about getting high, getting high, getting high, getting high. Like they're really, again, if it was, if it was booze, they wouldn't be liquor. You know, they wouldn't, I really don't think they'd be, they would do that. Uh, I'm, it's kind of curious as to why they're like, yeah, it's totally okay for a marijuana, but not alcohol. I don't know. I'm gonna make one of those just so it's on the cooldown can start now, just so we can jump into a game, whatever. Um, so I'm not kind of, I'm really not sure what we're gonna stream tomorrow. I could definitely get rid of another one, that one too. Oh, we oh we got two legendary tools from the battle pass. That's nice. And they they nerfed the uh, the moors in multiplayer and warzone. I kind of would like to check it again for zombies, but it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, I don't know where we're gonna stream tomorrow, guys. Because there's really nothing, I mean, the funny thing is, is like, so we streamed, what, a couple days ago we did Mauer de Toten Easter Egg. I asked you guys on the community page, put out a poll, and 80% of you wanted to see the Mauer de Toten over Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, so that's what I did. And the funny thing is, is you guys turned up for the stream, it's during the stream itself, but then like after the stream was over, the viewers, like as a video later, like go nowhere but like for this Spinner, stream way, advances to play the nick uh for mw3 like this will do i don't know like five times the, like so if, if we get 100 views it'll end up at like 500 later uh for the mawarder toten one it was like we get 100 views that's gonna end up at like at 150 later it's just nobody's searching it out so like the actual viewers during the stream are as good maybe a little bit better for the cold war stuff but as far as vod and people looking looking for it the you know whatever it's it's mw3 so i don't know where we're gonna play uh tomorrow you guys can feel free to throw some suggestions at me in, you know, in the comments of this down below or tell me right now um I really don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I did want to play through all of the round based maps again solo. So the only thing we have left for Cold War is Forsaken. Um, BO3 Ve Victus. I could, we could do that. I never actually played it. I downloaded it, but I never played it. Uh, we could do that. I have actually, there's a couple of maps I have on downloaded that uh, I've never touched as far as custom maps go. <clears throat> I just don't know who's going to, like, who's going to tune in for that. I mean, I honestly, I could play, I could do the same shit on here and just hop on here, run some contracts and just say... I don't know, whatever. I just call it MW3 Zombie Stream. And it'll it'll do way better than um, whatever custom stuff that I do. Doesn't mean I shouldn't do it, though. The custom stuff. Or more Cold War or whatever. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. But if you have any suggestions, feel free to put them down below in the comment section. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, I'll just catch you guys tomorrow. And it'll be something. I don't know what, but it's going to be something. All right. Have a great night, guys. We'll catch you later.